Hey, Dino. Can you hear me? Does the picture look okay? Hey, Chris. Okay, so I'm assuming you're Dino. Are you this, are you this Dino? Because I was actually going to talk to you about this. Hey, guys. I figured you were. There's probably not a ton of Dinos that pop up. So I have been working a lot on my day job. So um, I am off call now. So hopefully some of that will slow down. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. But um, I hope to do some mods soon. Um, I'm going to start with trying to finish Homer's build, which is this guy here. So, and somebody else had pointed out, I had the answer all along. I have the DLW loomed insert here. And, and then I have the crystal that goes with it because you can see it's got a, like a concave action to it. So I'm going to finish up Homer's build and then I'm going to, right after that, I'm going to immediately start on Dino's build, which is, should go pretty smooth um, because we're not doing anything crazy. I mean, we're going to put a patty dial on it, hand swap, and then, well, I guess it's a full build, Crystal, crystal swap, um, and a bezel insert, so I say we're not going crazy with it, but I guess, yeah, it's a whole new everything, except for the movement, so other than that, it's going to be stock, right, so, and then I have my, uh, my old neighbor, Frank's build, I finally got the loomed ceramic bezel insert, that's this guy here. It's actually sapphire, it's not ceramic. These things are super cool. They're a little bit more money. I think they're $60, but they're crazy cool. So if you guys are into the modding and you're looking at these, these are really nice. Um, and then once I do all that, so that's three SKX builds. Once I get done with those, I am going to work on a, a personal build of mine, which is this Crystal Times um, uh, case. So I'm going to do some stuff to this, but I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Don't tell anybody, but I bought this watch from Mimo and I am going to experiment with swapping over all of the turtle parts that I can. So hope, hopefully the movement, the hands, the dial, um, that's about it. That's all it's really going to get transferred over. But all of this stuff is going to go in this crystal times so I'm pretty excited about that. So it's going to be an SKX with a dual loom save the ocean dial and handset. And then I will do, I'm not sure what bezel insert or anything like that. I'm going to talk to some mod uh, companies about their products. I might go with Namoki. I might go with, um, I'll probably actually go with Namoki on it. We'll see. These, these Sapphire... These sapphire inserts from uh, Loomed, well, LCBI is what their, their thing is called. I think this blue, this full blue, I mean, it's going to be a lot of blue, but if I go full blue, it looks it looks really good. Um, I think an old SKX that I built, yeah, yeah, you did, David. So I couldn't help it. That dial in the dual loom is just awesome like I knew I had to do something with it I mean even if I left it in this case it the turtle form is really cool I just I prefer an SKX on wrist but this dial with the dual loom is just killer um if anybody real quick before I forget if anybody else is thinking about getting one of these Borealis um Edragas I think that's what it's called I can't see it um these are these are so cool and he's he's gonna go live with his pre-sale uh, tomorrow midday-ish. You gotta remember he's in Portugal, but I think he said London time around midday. So he's gonna go live with these. These are only gonna be three hundred ninety dollars. There's only a hundred of them. So there's four different colorways for the dial, and there there's only gonna be a hundred total. Um, the news that uh, no, I want to see that. I, I'm kind of talking to them about that. The Zelos GMT guys, if you if you've not seen that watch. That watch is amazing. Like, I am so on board with getting that watch. Hopefully, um, hopefully I can get one sent into the channel. I'm a little, 
I'm a little strapped with, with money because, of course, I bought this. And then I couldn't help but buy the SRP313. I mean, I know you guys don't blame me. No. No, I'm not selling it. I just bought it. Um, and this is my third or fourth. I don't even know how many of these I've owned. Um, so... Like here's here's my son's um, all black version I built of it. So you have the full black with the loomed bezel that I put on there, and then I have a bone stock three one three. So, th but like I said, this one is my uh, son's. This one came in from um, a viewer of the channel, so they they don't pop up very often. You can go over on eBay or on the forums and stuff like that, and the prices are um, they're all over the place. Yeah. This is basically, I took a SRP583 case and bracelet and then swapped in the 313 dial and movement and everything like that. And then I put the, um, I forget who makes this bezel, but this was the only successful bezel I've ever installed on one of these. I actually totally destroyed a monster installing one of these, so I don't recommend these. Um, but none of these are for sale. Sorry, Andrew, none of them are for sale. Um, I will give you a sneak peek of this guy, and there's a big, long story behind this. Yeah. You like this one? Um, so I have a big, long story with this. It's maybe not super elaborate or super great or anything like that, but um, I'm going to get into it when I when I do the review of it. I, this just showed up today. It's called a Citizen Hyper Aqualand. Um, I don't even know the, the model number. I don't know if it's on the back here or whatever, but, um, you know, you, you can occasionally run into them in really good shape. I think this one's really good shape. It's definitely not new. Um, I'm not sure how, when, and where these were sold. It seems like a lot of guys bought these um, in dive shops maybe, like on cruises or on vacation or holiday or something like that. And... Um, they're really cool. They have like a little mini uh, dive computer inside them with a sensor so it can give you the depth and everything like that. And you download onto your computer with this device and it'll give you um, a full readout of your whole excursion. Like as far as depths and temperatures and all that stuff, it's crazy cool. I'm never going to use it in that fashion, but it's just such a cool looking watch. I, I, I've always wanted one. Well, not always. I've wanted one for the last probably two two and a half years and i finally just found like one that looked good for a low enough price i think i paid just over 200 dollars for it and i'm totally happy with it you can get them cheaper they maybe need a little bit of work or something and that's also a really nice way to go but i'm definitely on board with um this watch i'm super happy i bought it i'm not on call anymore so i can have a little drink australia what time is it there so I don't know that I got a ton of other stuff really going on. I actually do have a lot, a lot of stuff going on. I have some, um, I have a bunch of other watches over behind me I need to review. I have a bunch of straps I need to review. Um, I'm like actually really far behind. So even doing this, <laughs> I came down here and I shot the video for the, for the Brellums, which are awesome watches, but um, they're typically, oh, 1025 AM. Well, good morning. Um, so those Brellums are really cool. Um, they're definitely above the um, $500 price safety zone that I like to have. Speaking of which, I haven't worn this guy in a while. Look at it, it's not even moving. That's sad. I need to wear this more often. Maybe this weekend I'll wear it. We'll see what's going on. But It feels so good on wrist. Do you guys have too many watches? I feel like I have too many watches. And what is too many? I don't even know. That's a really messed up question. The Hampton H2. Um, I think I have one of those on the way. The second version of that. Uh, it looks like he perfected it. There, He did some subtle changes. So yeah, I don't have too many. Andrew, you have 124 watches. I do not have too many. Um... Homer bought me a, and sent me a second case. My first case is only a 10 watch case, which I thought at one point, 
a 10 watch. I thought a 10 watch case was like, wow, that's crazy. I'm never going to fill that. So I filled that sucker and then I have watches just piling up everywhere else. So in conversation with Homer, um, who I'm building this guy for, which is going to look super cool as soon as I get this guy in here, um, with that other crystal, that's going to look good guys. And it's going to have dual loom and everything. This is going to look sick. And then he has the Angus bracelet with it. What's the quartz, quartz watch from the Monster Tiles? Which one are you looking at? I don't know which one you're looking at. I don't have a quartz watch sitting out here, do I? I guess I have this one sitting out here. Um, I lost my train of thought. So the 10 watch box, and then Homer got me the 12 watch box. And um, the 12 watch box is... Um, <laughs> send it to me. Retro Weld, you know I'll sell it for you. Um, the 12 watch box is already full. And um, I, don't, I don't know if I should just get another box. I actually, I found um, some like wall displays. What I Well, I just put this on. I, I wasn't wearing this. I just put it on because I looked over and it looked lonely. But I've honestly, ever since Carlos at Borealis sent this guy over, I've been wearing this for I think the last three or four days, and I put it on this watch steward strap, which it wears super comfortable on this. So I'm, I'm interested in getting a little bit of patina on the bronze. I've never had a, wa a bronze watch long enough to get patina on it. So I'm a little curious to see what a little bit of patina looks like. Not a lot. So I'm going to wear this for a while and not super clean it. You know, I'll, I'll wipe it off and stuff like that, but I want to see what it looks like after a little bit. So this is, I'm super excited about this. And then once he, um, hey Ray, and then once these hundreds sell, I've been talking to Carlos, he's, he fully plans on doing a stainless steel model of this, but we got to get these hundred bronze ones sold, which, you know, when I say it like that, I don't mean like buy it like a pre-tax to get the stainless one. These bronze ones are crazy cool. You have to see it in the flesh because it is like in the metal. It is like crazy cool and it's worth owning. Like I could easily see owning this bronze one and a stainless one. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah, and G-Shock's rule, by the way. I always have a G-Shock with me. I have one in my work van. I have one in my personal car. Ah, an Explorer ripoff. It's, uh, I don't, I mean, because it has you know, a dial similar to an Explorer, I guess. I, you can kind of say that. It has Oyster Perpetual style hands and um, it's made of bronze. I don't think an Explorer has ever been made out of bronze. So, eh, you know, plus it has a Seiko movement in it. I don't think Rolex uses Seiko. So, I don't know. Um, watches are watches. You know, is this Crystal Times SKX case a ripoff of an SKX? Um... Yeah, well, maybe. So, I don't know. You guys get, too many people get hung up on all that, like, watch drama stuff. It's it's kind of silly. Hey, Russ. It's, uh, they're watches, guys. You know, we tear them apart, like, uh, it is what it is. Can you get the strap with a bronze buckle? The, oh, so the strap, I don't know what I did with it. It comes on a really nice thick leather. Oh, here it is. It comes on a really nice thick leather and it has the matching bronze hardware. And so you could easily swap this, even this hardware, you could swap over to say some different leather if you don't like this, but this leather for being how thick it is, it's like light and super pliable. So it already feels like a broken in strap. Like it's, it's really good. The only thing I maybe could nitpick on it is I'm not huge on big um, leather keepers. It makes the, the watch feel kind of bulky on the backside but it wears fine. So this is the strap it'll come with. And if you're a leather strap guy, you're going to be totally fine with this, but it's 22 mil lugs. I mean, you could put it on anything. You could put it on a NATO, um, an Erica's original, you know, this watch steward or another leather strap or whatever you want to do. I think it works great. Update on the new orange monster. They're supposed to be released February 8th. The orange and the Frost, or Frosty, I'm calling it Frosty, are both being released, I believe, on February 8th. Bruce has both the Orange and the Frosty 
coming to him immediately after they're released. He'll do a video and then he'll send them to me. Um, I think he's buying the orange one and I'm buying the frosty one. Um, I, I don't want another orange monster to compete with the orange monster that I already have. I've tried that in the past and it just doesn't work. This is the one um, this is the one that I like. So I don't need another one. I don't need I don't care if it's a shimmer dial or it's a different uh, indice layout or anything like that. I only need one orange watch. Um, unless it's a Doxa, then I'll consider getting another orange one. Uh, that's in Fort... Yeah, the fourth is in Fort... Well, I have no idea what day it is, so... Um, it seems like for a guy that was so hung up on having a day-date complication on his watch, I now wear so many watches with neither a day or a date on them, and I feel like I'm totally fine with it. Uh, yeah, there's tons of watches coming out. If you aren't a monster lover, then don't buy a monster. If you are, then get one. If you've never tried one, try one. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, Roy, that, that Caribbean, that's actually the, the Caribbean 1200 is the one I had. And I uh, sold it. I've had the opportunity to buy it back. I think I sold it to Patrick, um, which I'm assuming he sold it since then. And it was the exact same model that you have with the, the orange um, inlay on the bezel. Um, I'll probably get another 12. I think 12, the... 1200 Doxa, I think overall is the Doxa to get. In my opinion, it has the really nice flexible beads of rice and um, yeah, that blue coral. Speaking of which, it's right here. Yeah, it's such a cool looking watch. I get that question a lot, surprisingly. Should I buy the Jade or should I buy the Coral? Man, you guys are asking the wrong guy because you know the answer is both. Get the Jade and the Coral and the Dracula, and the orange, and the frosty, and the new orange, and whatever other one they come out with. Get them all, man. Screw it. Just do it. Get them all on bracelet. Uh, the Japanese models, um, those don't come on bracelet, but you can get bracelets. <laughs> Dude, that bronze. This, and I can't capture it. My lights are really good in here, but in natural light, that dial actually has more of a bronze look to it, so it really flows together really well. So, yeah, the orange one is obviously iconic, but for some reason, if you look at the prices, the way they're trending, this 313, I think, is right up there with it. The only other one that's kind of, like, bizarre is that SBDC-023, the third-gen orange monster, that thing came out and I thought it was going to be abundant, just like the 2.5 and even the um, navy blue one. But then like the orange one disappeared in the third generation and now they're selling on the regular anywhere from $800 to $1,200. They're like impossible to find. It's crazy. I don't get, I don't understand what happened with that third gen orange. So hopefully this, this new orange one won't be the same case. Hopefully they make enough of them to spread out because if anybody wants an orange monster and it's too difficult or you're you're not willing to pay a premium for a really good 309 or you don't want the 7S26 um get that new orange one. I know it's it's not the iconic one but it's still an orange monster. Are you kidding me? You guys got to stop with the Borealis sold out. He's launching it tomorrow London midday. So you know what? I'll even, I got to work tomorrow. Dang it, the day job always getting in the way, right? I'll try to announce either on Instagram or, I, or I'll, maybe I'll put a post up on my channel when he goes live, when Carlos goes live with this watch. It's going to be midday tomorrow, Tuesday, the 5th of February, midday, he said, London time. Um, I don't know. I'm not into full mechanical. I like automatic. And I actually have, I think, as long as he sent it, I have a viewer, I forget who it is. He's supposed to be sending me his um, Khaki King to sell. So I should have a Khaki King for sale soon. This um, Pilot Pioneer is a really cool model. Um, it wears smaller than the size would indicate, but you can check out my video and Bruce's video on it. This is really cool, but I do like the, the way the day-date -day display is on the khaki king automatic um, i think probably this 
and the Khaki King are probably my two favorite Hamiltons. And I just kind of stumbled across this guy. This thing is super cool. So, yeah, if you go to the Borealis site, which I know is wonky, it's really weird and stuff like that, but just go to Borealis.com or just Google Borealis, and uh, you should be able to find your way to the Adraga, and it'll pop up, and it'll show four different dial configurations or color. And they're all going to say sold out, but as soon as they go live tomorrow, you'll be able to purchase them, and there's only going to be 25 of each. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be 25 in each. So this this one's a prototype, um, which Carlos said I could have. I don't know if for extended period of time or basically just keep or whatever. But so big thanks to Carlos for sending this guy over because I'm wearing the heck out of this and bronzes. I'm not. I don't know. I didn't. I never connected with any of the bronze diver watches I had, which was only like a couple of them I had on here, but. This this model in the bronze actually looks really cool. And in, in natural light, I've, we've been having a lot of overcast. So without even direct sunlight, um, it just looks cool. And I've I've heard a couple people already say that it has kind of a rose gold look to it. But um, in natural light, it definitely looks like bronze. It's just no other material looks like it. It's just so cool. So anyway, guys, I don't want to hang up uh, too long here. Um... The new Hamilton Mechanicals have a satin finish. On the movement or on the watch? I don't even know. I was hoping... Mimo was supposed to get... Um, the Boulder Ventures, that quartz horn, right? I sent that over to Homer for him to check it out. And I do have some Helsin watches. Hopefully, we're going to be able to check out. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine for everyday use, not having a bunch of shiny bits. Even this... Um, a lot of these Hamiltons, they have like the polished up here, that's gonna get scratched up. And then, you know, a polished center on a bracelet with me, that's, I'm super easy on watches and I know I'm gonna scratch the hell out of this. So. Oh, this guy? Um, I forget the model number. I did a video on it. You can search back on my videos or you can look at Bruce, just did a video on it. This is the, if you search up Hamilton Pilot, Hamilton Pilot Pioneer, this should pop up. And they did make this actually in an aluminum case with different like NATO straps or whatever straps. Um, and it's an aluminum case and it's super lightweight. I do actually want to check one of those out. They're pretty cool. I know it's super lightweight and I know that's a touchy subject with somebody, whether you like a little bit of weight to your watch or if you like really nice light watches like that Boulder Venture, which is titanium. And I put that on um, Erica's original and it basically disappears on wrist. But I sent that over to Homer. For him to check out that and the ocean crawler and I think that citizen diver and I don't know, whatever, some other stuff. The Hamilton, yeah, that's mine. If you want to check it out, Doug, I can send it to you. Just let me know. Hit me up. You know how to get a hold of me if you want to check it out. It's just, it's super easy. For, if, if you guys, you know, connect with me and, and we develop a relationship like that, I don't know any, I don't want to get like, too crazy or too weird about it like but I have all these watches and some of them I do send to people for them to just check out and the, you know some of them have YouTube channels and some don't it's just depends on our relationship and and talking and stuff like that the on the Hamilton the lug to lug man I was, I was trying to get off the live show Doug you got me measuring stuff let's see I forget it's actually pretty short like for just messing up here. Jack and Coke's getting to me. Like 47 and a half. So it's actually not very long. So I, I don't remember what your wrist size is, but um, on my, yeah, it does. It actually wears really good. Um, well, Bruce was wearing it, so it's a little Bruce loose, but um, on my seven and a quarter, like it, it feels really good on the wrist. And I don't know. I don't like, I don't mind a crown at three o'clock, but it needs to be a smaller crown like this. If you put a big crown at three o'clock, I'm probably, I mean, if you look at my watch collection, all of my three o'clock crown watches are small crowns or all of my watches are basically like Seiko kind of watches um, where they're offset. Even that, let me grab it. Even this guy, which is a, a fairly large watch, this Raven, but the fact that you put the crown down here at four o'clock, 
I love this watch. I wear this watch a lot and it fits and wears so good. If you put the crown at four o'clock, you know, in between, um, you know, four in that area, or you do a small crown at three, I'm going to like your watch more. If you, that's why part of the reason why I don't like, like the Tudor black bays and stuff, they do their crowns fine, but then they do the tube extension and then it pushes the crown out. That digs into me. And yeah, you can build up a callus here and you can be fine with it or whatever, call me a wimp or something, but why? I'm not going to put up with it. There's too many other good watches that have small crowns or, you know, are designed so that they just, they don't dig in um, or they just offset them and it's not an issue. So, you know, I am picky sometimes when it comes to watches. It may seem like I'm not when I do a lot of these videos, but I mean, look at this crown. It's super small, petite, not, it's not intrusive. It's never going to bother you. Um, it's, it's perfect. You don't, you don't have to do this. I don't understand why Tudor does it. It actually kind of pisses me off because I want to like Tudor and I want to wear their watches and I want to buy their watches because they're a great value, but they do their stupid crown tube extension and then put a color ring around it too to make it, I don't know. I, that's, that's my little rant on Tudor. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up and go, uh, the, the North flag was actually pretty cool. The Plagos is I didn't like it. it was too big. They've done away with those. Um, Steinhardt's, Steinhardt, Steinhardt, they're good. Um, if if you don't mind a flat case with no curvature to the lugs. The Black Bay 58 actually does push the crown out a little bit. It's not as pronounced as the uh, older Black Bays, and I really do want to try a Black Bay 58. Um, I, I need to put myself in position where when I try it, I need to be ready to buy it because I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. <laughs> and that might be um, towards the summer. So the uh, the NTHers are actually pretty sweet. Um, they were supposed to send me a couple more, actually, but I think he got busy. Um, not Chris. Um, I for, oh, I'm so bad with names. Over at Watch Gauge, um, he's he's supposed to send me a couple, but he probably got busy. I know he was planning some trips and getting everything like that. Seiko, how is the dude? This Borealis is awesome. Seiko, in my opinion, will never. I don't want to say never. I don't see them doing ceramic inserts on that Trans Ocean. Their whole bezel was actually ceramic. And then you've seen them do it on that model, and then they never did it again. So I think Seiko likes to do things different or their own way. So I don't think you're going to see them do a turtle with a sapphire crystal and a ceramic bezel. I don't. I just don't think you're going to see it happen. They like their aluminum ones, which is totally fine, and they like their hard lex, which honestly I don't have a problem with. I don't know why so many people get hung up on prices versus hard lex versus sapphire if you look at the specs on hard lex versus sapphire they're pretty interesting like hard lex is is pretty good crystal um you know when you're dealing with other watches that have um you know sapphire for about the same price then you know go buy those don't buy the, the seiko you know or buy the seiko and put the sapphire in it like we this is it this is what you're gonna get so um best place to buy hamilton Probably Joma Shop. I was starting to say earlier, Mimo was going to set up a dealership with Hamilton, but you, these smaller, like, Ma and Pa type watch boutiques, if you can call them that, um, they they have a overhead and they have to maintain a certain level of profit margins. So, um, you know, when they're having problems with their vendors or their products don't move and stuff like that, then it's not worth their time. So... Sometimes you just have to go to, you know, Amazon or wh whoever's selling them on there or just go to Joma. Joma Shop's a fine place to buy, especially if you're buying at those price ranges. They're they're totally fine. I wouldn't go buy, like, you know, super high-end watch there or something. But um, I prefer, like, even this. Like, if, if you're going to go buy, a, in my opinion, if you're going to go buy, a, like, a Rolex or an Omega, I unless you're looking at a specific model that's no longer available, um, I would definitely go to an authorized dealer. 
Uh, there's way too many fakes out there. There's way too many replicas. And you might even run into buying a used watch that the seller actually th thinks it's authentic. Like he honestly maybe doesn't know. Um, and, you know, then it has like a ripple effect. So like it could be, you could be the third or fourth guy down the line. And everybody thinks it's real and it's not. So I don't want to get involved with that game. There's there's risk involved. I know there's people that have mastered it where you can get it, like you can inspect it or, you know, hold payment and then go, you know, check out the, uh, um, what do you call it? Go to, go to, to a service center or, or your watch guy and have it authenticated and then you know for sure. But I don't want to get involved in that. I would rather just pay the premium, go to the authorized dealer make the purchase and be done with it and move on. I got other things to do in life than to um, try to authenticate watches or not. So, All right, I'm going to try to wrap this up unless you guys have anything major you want to talk about. What are we at, 31 minutes? I don't even know what watch, how this watch, what's the digital watch? Right, with the dive chart on the strap. That's this, uh, I'm gonna do a full review. I just got this watch today. This is a Citizen Hyper Aqualand. I've been eyeballing this thing for about two years. Um, and there's a, a story to go along with it, where I seen it, what the circumstances and everything like that. And I don't wanna share that right here, right now. But um, it's it's interesting, it's pretty cool. Um, there's, there's other videos of my face. I'm not gonna turn around right now. There's tons of videos of my face. You're not missing anything, trust me. Um, I've had a couple of Zins. I've had one Zin. I've had a Zin 104. And I think I might consider buying the new Zin 104 in that blue color. Um, there are new G-Shock squares coming. There's always new G-Shocks coming. That's what I love about G-Shocks. Subscribe to G-Shock High Fashion channel on YouTube. At the beginning of every month, he goes through a itemized list of all the new G-Shocks coming out. He is the absolute authority if you want it the information quickly when it comes out to those. Um, the 556, I definitely want to check one out. The Crystal Press, I will be using... Uh, I have not pressed a crystal with it yet, although I've only pressed a bezel. On, I, I pressed the, um, the Murphy bezel onto this case with it, which the Murphy bezel is tight. It is not easy to get on here. So I actually use this press to get it on there. That's why those size dies are on there. Um, now, I, I do know some people argue that this style of press, you cannot, quote, feel the movement of the crystal when you're pressing it in. But the way I do um, that type of application is I use, um, not that my eyesight's bad, but I use these, these are um, plus three readers just simple like $20 readers and I get my face right up to the crystal and I look exactly what's happening and I move very slow. That's the way I do all my mods. I get my face right, that's why it's hard for me to video mods because I get my face right up to the mod and I use the right tools and I make sure everything's clean and I do everything super slow and meticulous. And that's why my mods basically I don't even want to say they're slow. They're just almost non-existent. It's so, I'm so slow with mods, guys. I'm so sorry. What am I selling next? Um, I don't know that I am going to sell anything next. I guess maybe at some point I would consider selling the Citizen Tough, but um, it's such a low price. I spilled some coffee on it. So you know it's tough. Um, I, I don't know. It's, I don't even know if it's really worth selling. It's kind of kind of a cool watch, and I want to wear it a while and see. Um, it's supposed to be more scratch resistant, this coating on there. So I'm kind of curious to, to wear this for a longer period of time and see if it truly is more scratch resistant, this titanium-like coating or whatever they put on there. So, And it's actually a pretty cool watch. How do I find time? <laughs> Uh, how do I find time? Um, if I tried to explain my time schedule, you, you, I don't know. I don't think you guys would like it because I work a lot. I work, let's see, 
Last week I did 82 hours. The week before that I did 100 hours, 107 hours at work. And then I still try to do a video a day. Um, I don't know. You just do it. You got to understand that. I mean, you're awake for so many time, so much amount of time. Like, don't sit around and do nothing. Just do something. So, and before you know it, you'll find that you're, you're, um, you're more productive. Like, the more you do, the more you do. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and then, and then at some point you'll probably get sick or super tired and you'll crash. But it's cyclical. Um, that's that's what you do. It's, you just you just do it. You don't stop. So you, it is what it is. Hey Riley, how's the ankle? <laughs> it must be better. I seen you you posted up a, a a pretty long bike ride. So hopefully, I'm sure you went a lot slower than you normally do. Um, in case you guys didn't know, Yankee Rider is my good friend Riley. He was, he was posting up videos on the reg, but I think he got burned out of watches. But I, I'm slowly suckering them back into him. Maybe I'll send him a couple watches to check out. I'm going to probably pick some that I know that he won't really like too much and then um, send them to him and maybe see if I can convert them. Like, I think he was just griping about the size and bronze and everything like this. So maybe I'll send this one to Riley. I think, I think he won't like that. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to sign off partly because my drink's almost empty, but, and I'm going to go have a, um, a good night to just chill. So let me please. Yeah. Um, if there's a problem with a watch that you know, it was transaction that I tried to help out and stuff like that. Let me know. So we can, um, we can try to figure something out or whatever. So, all right, guys, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Um, <laughs> I don't drink that much. I don't have time to drink. <laughs> this is, this is Gentleman Jack and, uh, Coke. So, um, I've not used their, uh, Monster Crystal. So I will be doing more mods this week. This week I'm doing mods. I'm going to I'm going to start with Homer's. I'm going to get his done and then I'm going to start on Dino's, which is going to be a fun one because it's a clean slate. This watch has never been touched, it's brand new.